How's it going everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030 and today I thought I'd bring you all a discussion video talking about a feature that will help make Pokemon Go be a lot more fun and that is time travel. I know we see this kind of things in shows etc but like I said this is mainly for Pokemon Go. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to explain how this works, get my thoughts on it and etc. But first before I get into it, I do need to mention a couple things. For starters, yesterday by checking this video I talked about that my dog was going downhill, not doing so well because of some illness. Took him in this morning, did some blood tests, all that kind of stuff. He's home right now, and turns out he's actually perfectly fine. So thank you guys so much for your support, and hopefully you continue that way. The results should come in uh, sometime this week to be able to know what's actually wrong. Now second, I'm still doing the special giveaway if you're new to the channel and build it. The details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to click it, so that way you build this get the more details of what's going on. So if my channel reaches the certain goal, you can be able to earn a certain reward, and it will expire near the end of this month. So be sure to do so if you want to get a special gift for your loved one, whoever you care about, for holiday season, since it's coming up very soon. Alright, so now getting back to the video, to start off with the time travel feature. How I think this will work is it will allow your avatar character to stay exactly where this person is, but you get to teleport to a different time zone of when it is. So like, let's say that you were not able to capture the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. This will allow your avatar character to transport to that time zone and they'll have a chance to get that Pokemon. Now, I don't know of how many characters will be available at that time period, but you have to keep yourself in mind that you have to go to a certain area where a lot more players are active. Now Mewtwo is an EX raid boss, so you'll have to teleport to a certain time zone of when Mewtwo was available worldwide besides EX raids. Another thing is that if you want to teleport and transfer to a certain time zone for an event, so like let's say you want to participate in this Halloween event back in 2017, you can do that. However, the spawns would not be as exciting as it is right now. If you're curious as if, what if you could teleport to the uh, GoFest? Can you be able to participate in the event? Can you be able to see this, the exact same spawns? Unfortunately, you cannot because you need a certain QR code in order to ticket to be able to see this kind of spawns. So how this feature will help is this will allow players to be able to get a second chance to be able to get the certain Pokemon or kind of stuff even though they weren't able to at the first time. And I say that because a lot more players apparently are upset with not being able to capture this legend Pokemon because it's a lot more harder, they have some bad luck on that kind of stuff, but with this time travel sequence you'll be able to teleport and get a second chance to get that Pokemon or how many chances it is. So I'm thinking it's going to cost like between 1,000 to 2,000 coins to be able to get it. So same thing with the team medallion if you want to change your team. So do I think this uh, feature is going to be like a one-time offer? Well, I'm thinking it's going to be like a, a yearly thing. So similar with the, the team medallion. So you can only use it one time only per year and you get to teleport to a certain time period to, from the previous ones. So, like, if you want to use it and to teleport to a certain time zone of, like, the Germany event happened in Pokemon Go for the, the best one, unfortunately, you have to be there at a sequence to be able to see those exact same spawns that players did. But, yet, like I said, you do have to have a QR code, ticket work, kind of thing to be able to see those kind of stuff. And that's pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The first video is to let y'all know that the time travel feature of how this would help make Pokemon Go be a lot more fun. I get my thoughts on it what you can do, and etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything over here. Do you agree? Not agree? How do you think this time travel feature will help you out? And what would you like to do? Let me know. That would be appreciated. Hope you all did enjoy today's video. If you watching, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Check my subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.